Uh, but it is no Ao Chun. It's something else. And he is be he's oh he can't be locked. But I'm getting him slowed now. Even though you can't be locked, man, you can still be slowed, buddy. <laughs> and after that last stand, kill. And he dies right there because he he teleported back. Nice. What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to another test on the Cerberus here uh, with Glacier and Cryo on two robots. That's going to be really crazy. Uh, again, we've already made a video with the Punisher and Avenger, and that worked, despite the outdated Punisher. Then I tested the Blaze and the Embra as flamethrowers. It worked immensely well, and now I want to test this with the, a bit more new Cryo weapons, okay? Uh, the cryo weapons add additional 20% firepower to your robot once the enemy is frozen and he's being slowed. So now we have another effect. We have lockdown, suppression, corrosion and slowed down with the free freezing and the increased damage pretty much, which is one effect, but you could make it five. That's insane. That's so many effects and so much, you know, negative stuff that you give the enemy. It's insane. All right, let's see what we have here. Uh, okay, that's uh, he already walked away. I was hoping I could get a short sequence of sh firing at him That guy's so fast executor man. You're so fast, dude All right, let's get this guy locked and suppressed he is now and now he's also taking 20% more damage Thanks to me. Th thanks to the weapons here this guy just face shifted away from it and uh, And he's taking a lot of damage from that and that's it nice. Lockdown and suppression against the Spectre. He's now stealth jumping. Okay. Oh boy. Come on. Ugh. I'm still alive with the last stand, thankfully. And he's getting attacked from behind. If I can push him out to this side, he should probably lose his robot soon. Yep. There it goes. Boom. Got him. Nice. Alright. So, what do we have here? We have an Aochun coming in, uh, but he already landed. So, the Aochun isn't really a danger here. Suppression and locked, okay. Oh, and I lost my last stand anyways. I used the face shift to keep the last stand and guess what happened? That's right, I lost my last stand. Uh, but I got this guy anyways, that's good. That was a bit of an unfortunate timing. Oh, come on. Getting stuck with the weapons against walls is really... Uh, okay, he just blocked my shot that, uh... That leech in front of me, friendly, uh, friendly face block. <laughs> That's what we call it, call it here. A friendly face block. Suppression. He's locked and suppressed. And when his last stand is over, that is it. Nice. Um, you know, I was trying to suppress the... Oh, uh, come on. Why are you already activating the shield? That's way too early. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm not expecting him to play so unstrategically just walk around the corner and immediately run the shield you have to wait and maximize the potential of that shield sir by by simply making sure basically you only really activate it once you are in fact taking damage that's when you activate that shield okay he's locked and suppressed but he's also leeching still so but the leech is over now and that means that um, the leech itself is gone boom it does work really well Okay, here comes his, his weapon mode or his shield mode. Yeah, guys, when you play the Ares, make sure you only activate that shield after uh, you are um, uh -oh, um, after you have uh, you're, you're taking damage. There's no sense in running the shield when you're not even taking damage. You know what I mean? Make sure to uh, to use that shield as your as your defensive move and not as a precaution, right? That, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. It's not a precaution, it's a defensive move. So, we've been taken out here on one of our things. Let's first, let's quickly get, get away from that, get that Titan out of the match. That's what we're doing now, because he just run uh, his Titan, and I have a robot with resistance or shield, and I'm not gonna let this guy live any longer. You're done, dude. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Titan. That's a well-leveled, super max Titan, by the way. Um, and there he goes. All right. Um, let's have another match with the, um, uh, with the uh, Cerberus and the Glacier and, um, Rhyme. No, yeah, Cryo. Cryo and Glacier, that's the combo. Executor, Executor, let me show you, let me take a look at that Titan of yours. This player profile can't be loaded as it's located on a different platform. Ah. Alright, so here we go again with the Cerberus with 
Reaper, Cryo, and Glacier. It does look pretty nice, the setup. And uh, it, uh, yeah. Let's go under the bridge. I think this is where our weapons have uh, a good effective range. Or maybe we, we make it over, over to the other side and attack the ones who are trying to get our beacon. That's also a possibility. We could get this guy locked, for example, too. I think I locked him. Yup, and he's dead. He's dead because he got locked. Nice. And here he spawns in with a Leo this time. And takes 20% more damage for, uh, because we have him uh, immediately frozen. They're still fighting for this beacon. We could probably try and get this beacon here. Lockdown and suppression maybe. Yup, he is locked. And 20% more damage immediately. Wow, did you see how much damage this guy just took? And he still has half his HP. Wow, dude. Insane. And locked and suppressed again. Uh-oh, and I must have somewhere overlooked an, an Aochun. Because an Aochun just came in from the side and flamed me. Weapon suppressed. And kill. Nice. But that... That guy just took some effort. Did you see that, man? He just wouldn't go down. He's probably gonna respawn there. Yep, there he is. And let's let's just suppress him. So he can't really do a lot of damage to our team here. And and as his ability runs out, I'm trying to get him down to last stand. There it is. Nice. And he's trying to get another ability regenerated, but I think we can handle it before before he gets it. So, we have this beacon under control. and But they got this beacon in the meantime. Damn it. Okay. Okay, locked and suppressed. No, we cannot suppress him. And now he's just brainlessly rushing us. Because, you know, it's going to be effective. Because why wouldn't it? But now he's done. This time I'm going to get you suppressed and locked. Because, you know, you had your, you had your phase shift a second ago. And there you'd go, man. Trying to get around the corner. Gotcha, man. Even face shifted the dude. I'm getting attacked from behind, I know. Okay, he face shifted too. It's everyone has it now. But I think after that we have him. Yep. Nice. We just took a decent amount of damage from behind, and there is, and that's the problem. There is an Aochun who landed up here. And who's trying to get our beacon. I locked him. And before he gets it, I have him. Nice. Unfortunately... Uh-oh. That's, that's a falcon right here. Who's trying to take the beacon. No, it's not a falcon. It's actually... Oh, it's a... I thought it was a falcon because it looked it had, like it has this, this shield weakening symbol. But that shield weakening symbol was not the shield uh, th that in, in resistance, uh, low resistance thing. It was something else. Okay. Now, I'm going to take this this beacon away from them, because if he wants to stop me from it... Oh, man. That's a problem. They have a lot of stuff here now. But I'm still taking their beacon. Unfortunately, this guy is going to have his flight back soon. But I've got the beacon secured. I can do some sweet damage to this guy, and then I die. But we have the beacon. That's, that's what I was waiting for, or was hoping for. Let's go into this thing and uh, end, end it for him here. And then also this Titan who just annoyed the living heck out of me. Oh, and there is a leech robot that needs to be taken down. Boom. There we go. The resistance goes right through that thing. Now we have two Arthur Titans. And since my weapon are reloading anyways, the machine guns, I mail to his land have more resistance and fire over a cover where he cannot hit me at. Look, I'm firing at him for free. He can't hit me here. In the meantime, I am already closing the distance to the other guy. To hit him now. There you go. You just fired at me from the side. That's, the pre that's what you get for it. Boom. Boom. And running through the resistance on that falcon... Is he not going to jump? He should have jumped. Oh my god, is that insane. 
Okay, again, weapons are reloading. I may as well, may as well land. There's no point in flying, in, in flying, taking more damage when you don't actually get more firepower from it. Now the weapons are reloaded. Time to fly up again. And from up here, I can bypass the physical shield on that guy completely. You see this? When you're that close, uh, they can't... Um, can't avoid that damage. Boom. Killed before you could even stealth jump. Wow, dude. And he's there again. Oh, wow. Absolute brutalized. This is... But this is something I've been saying for a while now. That the Titans, they do too much damage. I can't aim at him. He's perfectly underneath me. That, that was a leech robot, wasn't it? Yep. No. Yeah, I think it was. Or was it an Aochun? I can't tell. From the corpse. It looks like an Aochun. But I think it was a leech. Yeah, it has a leeching glow even. Um, and we ignore his resistance, so his leech does not work. And um, boom! So yeah, Glacier and Cryo, pretty cool on the Cerberus. It's no match for the Titan, of course, but it's super crazy good. Uh, but I'm not sure I might I, I'm not sure I think I actually preferred the ember and the blaze because they have a fixed reload Which means you have a few seconds of not firing, but then you have full firepower back overall You're going to be able to do more damage, right? Um, and but you but you can't freeze the enemy which we did against the phantom at first so uh, yeah I guess it depends um, how you look at it. They're they're all very useful and the, the Cerberus actually makes pretty good use of these weapons so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for bearing with me. You guys are awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off. Bye-bye.